So, how do you think are uh, Mr. Carson and Mick Hughes at home? Why do they fight about the most or...? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Um, you go first. Ladies first. Well, um, I think once once they get over the hump, so to speak, of um, you not being very good at cooking, I think I think she's managed to um, tame him in a certain way. But but you know what I mean. He probably produces a very nice ploughman's lunch. I don't know if you know what that is in Spain, but it's just basically like meats, pickles, and, you know, some nice bread and a bit of cheese on the side. He can probably concoct that. Um, so I think she's domesticating him gradually. Uh, yeah, I think there are two people who respect each other very much at work. Um, so how they are at home... It's, it's interesting to speculate, because also, too, a man who's been a bachelor all his life and a woman who's been unmarried all her life, getting spinster. together a spinster, getting together late, be quite tricky, I think. I know, uh, I think <coughs> they probably do have and, and I think we ought to see more of that. Yeah, it'd be lovely to see more of it. Especially in the sequel, yeah, yes, it yeah. all revolves around yeah. the Carsons. Um, a little bit of a sitcom, you know, like, yeah. the Carsons at home. Yeah. <laughs> sitcom. <laughs> yeah. At home with the yeah. Carsons. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't think Mr. Carson would be very easy to live with at all. He's got no domestic skills. I thought he's used to having everything done for him in a way. Yeah. Uh, I can pour a nice bottle of wine and that's about it, really. He's hopeless. Yes, but I think she's probably... You're very tolerant. I'm very tolerant, yeah. but I think she's probably helping him along yeah. the way to yeah. at least make a cup of tea. Hmm. What are the best and the worst of turning the show into a movie? I don't think there's any worst about it. <laughs> Um, but the, the producers might have a different answer to that because it's more of a headache for them. I, th I think the, the best thing about it is that it, it gives us a chance and the fans a chance to go back to revisit the, the series uh, in one episode and it's just bigger and more glamorous and uh, more romantic, more cinematic. Than it's the, just the, more the, everything. More it? everything, really. And, and the fact that they've enjoyed it so much is, is, is its own reward. There were no downsides to it at all. No. <coughs> um, Only was, the fact was, that it was so short, because mm. normally we'd spend six months of the year doing... Uh, how many episodes? Ten? Eleven? Yeah, yeah. Eleven hours. Yeah. Of, and now it was all encapsulated into about... 10, Ten 12 weeks, weeks yeah, or something, yeah, 10 yeah. weeks. Speaking about the success in America, in Spain, here, um, how was for you to watch the movie with an audience? Because you are not in the houses of the people yeah, <laughs> during yeah, the yeah, show. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, that, a good question, yeah. Yeah, that, that was the different thing because everybody watches it, you know, on their own or with their family. In the so when, when we, we went to the London premiere in September, <coughs> to sit there in an audience was fantastic because people... The first Things cheer. you take for granted. Yeah, and the, the, I mean, we, the, the, it opened with this letter being delivered and then, then the camera came up and saw the castle and the music came in and everybody clapped, you know. <laughs> so yeah, you know. And that was fantastic. And, and, and to hear laughed, people laughing, know. you know, uh, was, was great. And, and I thought, oh, I could... I, I, you know, that was very enjoyable, very different for us. Mm. And I think made the experience more enjoyable for the for the fans as well. So being downstairs character, what do you miss the most of not being upstairs character? Well, do you know what, what I you know what I don't miss at all about having to be an upstairs person is because Mrs. Hughes has two outfits and if she's lucky three, if she goes into the village, she might have an outdoor coat and a skirt. Otherwise, daytime she's in her navy blue Night time, she's in her black. Upstairs, they're always, Anna or wherever's always saying, oh, there's that ball sequence that you need another fitting for that. So they're always going off having fittings, getting, trying out more dress. So I'm happy just to have my two little outfits and they are beautiful mm -hmm. and I enjoy wearing them. So I don't, I don't um, at all resent upstairs. <laughs> It was more fun downstairs because it's more energetic and I was more involved and it was the scenes were more sort of like this. Upstairs was more formal, more sitting at dinner tables, standing with drinks. And you have uh, to be careful up there because we're, we're, we're in a historical mm, building with, yeah. you know, 
priceless paintings on the wall, mm. but whereas we're in the studio downstairs, so we can be much more free and easy. But I think I wore grooves in the floor in the dining room where my feet rested in the same place for six years, and, and I hardly ever got to say a word. So that was harder work. That was a test of patience, I have to say. Mm. I'd rather be downstairs, more fun. Could you tell me which uh, one is your favourite line to say in the show? Like something to say and stay with you? Uh, my favourite little scene was when Lady Mary came down the stairs in the TV series uh, in her wedding dress and there was Lord Grantham and me waiting at the bottom of the stairs looking at her coming down and she said, well I do Carson and I said, very well my lady. So, so I, I enjoyed that. Oh. And you said, oh, Charlie, I love you. <laughs> oh, Charlie, my life would not be complete without you. <laughs> Probably oh, Charlie, when I said yes, of I do. I will marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. One of my, one of my favourite scenes was when you and, and, and um, Leslie, Mrs. Patmore, were discussing what would you expect. What would go on on the honeymoon as if that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to pray for us. I'll put in a word. <laughs> Your Majesties, welcome to Downton Abbey.